Hello my food porn perverts. Welcome to another webisode of Food Porn Friday. This week we're going to make my version of the portal cake. Now before we get this party started, I want to show you the vital components of the portal cake. The first accessory we're going to need is a cake leveler. It's a really cool tool and I'll show you what it does a little later on in the video. For the heart shape in the middle of the cake, we got this really awesome pan from Wilton.com. We ordered it off Amazon and it was only $14.99 so that was a really, really good deal. For the ingredients that will be going into the cake, we've got two cups of two cups of water. And then for the heart that's going to go in the middle of the cake, we're going to be using buttercream. And I will be using this red food dye to dye it pink. For the top of the cake, I have chosen to do milk chocolate. And since this is going to be a two-toned portal cake, I'm going to be using red velvet for the first half and I am going to be using chocolate trifecta for the second half. So another thing you're going to need are six eggs, maraschino cherries for the garnishment, and I know that the recipe calls for vegetable oil, but I am choosing to use coconut oil. And before you bake your cake, always use the no stick cooking spray. So that is all of our ingredients. And now we're going to put it all together. The first flavor that we're going to mix together is the chocolate trifecta by Cake Boss. It's this little box right here. And it comes with not just the cake mix, it comes with some type of syrup concoction. So that is supposed to go with the cake mix. And what we're going to do is that we're going to mix it all together. And then we're going to beat it on, say, medium speed for about 30 seconds. So we're going to get, get this all together. And we're going to put it in the first half of the pan. As we pour our cake batter into the pan, as you can tell, this is kind of negative space and positive space. You don't want to pour the cake batter here because then you won't have your cute little heart in the middle. So what you want to do is that you want to pour your cake batter right here so that we can fill the heart with the frosting. Now, first thing is first, I'm going to spray that. And then we're going to stick it in the bowl or in the pan. What we're going to do is that we're going to tap this until it's smooth. That way there are no bubbles in the cake as it bakes. Now the next cake we're going to mix is the red velvet cake. And it has pretty much the same ingredients as the chocolate trifecta, except the little pudding packet that was included. So now we're going to mix this all together.
And now we're going to pour the other half into this tin, which is the humps of the heart. Once again, don't pour your batter here. You want to pour your batter here. So that way, when you put the cake together with the frosting heart in the middle, it actually looks like a heart. Now, if you were to do it the other way, it would be all totally foobar. So once again, what we're going to do is that we're going to spray the cake pan. And then we're going to put it inside of the pan. And just like with the chocolate trifecta, you want to tap it so that it is even on top. All right, now that our cake batter is in our pans, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees, and we will be back in about 45 minutes. Well, our cakes are done, and they're hot and fresh out of the oven. What I am going to do is let these cool overnight so that we can level them, and that way we can frost them and they're gonna look so cool. So I'm really super excited about this. So we'll be back in the next frame. Okay, you guys, you remember the beginning of the video where I showed you this little uh, thing called the cake leveler? Well, I've already leveled the red cake. As you can see, it is a nice, flat, even top, as flat and even as we can make it. And now we're gonna do the same to the chocolate half. And the first thing we're going to do is also these things are adjustable. So you can adjust it to whatever shape and size that you want or whatever you need. And the first thing we're going to start is it, when you're cutting the top off your cake, you want to do a little uh, sawing motion, but not make it so... Big, otherwise you're going to destroy your whole cake just like what I'm doing right here and now that the top is off we take the top off and it is a nice even surface okay now that our cake tops are cut off we're going to flip the cake over onto a plate and we're going to let it cool some more. As you can tell, these are the little grooves that our frosting is going to go into. And we're going to set these in the fridge for about a half an hour to let them set. We have the next step, which is the buttercream frosting. And we're going to put a few dots of the red food dye just to make it pink. So we're going to empty both containers into this little uh, plastic bowl and we're going to mix well. Have our beautiful pink frosting what we're going to do next is that we're going to put it in the grooves of the cake okay now that our kinks are completely cooled I've let this uh, I, okay now that our cakes are completely cooled I've let this cool in the freezer for about 10 minutes and while I was doing that I was pulling up a pastry bag with the pink icing as you can see here now what we're going to do is that we're going to snip the tip and we're going to fill the crevices. Oh, 
Once our crevice is full, what we want to do is that we want to take a straight edge, like a knife or something, and we want to, and we just want to flatten out the surfaces, just like so. All right, now that we have both sides filled, we're going to put them in the freezer for about 10 minutes to let the frosting firm up, and then we're going to put both halves together. Okay, now that our cake halves are properly set, we are going to put them together and place it like so. And I don't know, that looks pretty even to me. Now for our next step, we're going to decorate the cake in this lovely chocolate icing. And we're going to try to cover the whole cake with this smoked chocolate creamy supreme by Pillsbury. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the two-tone portal cake. It was a great hit for my stepdaughter's birthday. As you can tell, there is this lovely heart in the middle, thanks to the cake pan we bought through Walton. And if you'd like to know how you can make this cake, I have included directions in the description box below. Also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you like what I'm doing on my channel, please hit the subscribe button, and I will see you guys on Monday.